this scale is a decimal inch scale. Now drafters quite frequently have to measure in decimal inches rather than fractions of an inch. And so they've developed a scale to make it easy to make measurements such as 0.26 or 0.38. These are decimal units rather than fractional units and they can be measured with this scale. Now this is how the scale works. The long lines on the scale represent tenths of an inch and so there are ten of these marks in one inch. In between the tenths of an inch are some smaller lines which are hundredths of an inch. This scale right here tells you that those marks for the hundredths of an inch are each worth point zero two. In other words, two hundredths of an inch for each mark. So let's let's look at a couple of measurements for a minute. Where would point two six be on this scale? Well here's point two and so we could count over from there each one of these little lines representing two hundred. So the first one would be point two two, the next one point two four, and finally right here would be point two six. Let's try it one more time with the point thirty eight. Here's point three, the big line. 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 6, 3, 8. There's point 3, 8. Okay, now let's try it on some actual lines. Let's try this line, for example. We'll slide our scale up to there. Okay, now as we look carefully at that, we can see that here is point 6, here is point 7, and so let's count over from there. 7, 2, 7, 4, 7, 6, 7, 8. So that measurement is 0.78. In other words, 7 tenths of an inch and 8 hundredths of an inch. Okay, let's try it on one more line. Let's measure this line. Okay, this line is longer than an inch because here's the one inch mark. So, 1.2, 1.4, 1.5. So that's 1.5, in other words, an inch and a half. So this is how the decimal scale works. You have tenths of an inch, which are the longer lines and you have hundredths of an inch, each one of them representing two hundredths of an inch.